Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda here from Brenda Tarot Readings with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 27th to March the 5th. Okay, starting off in your center position and the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Pencils, which is in this deck the King of Swords. So I do think that um, you're moving forward here with structure and routine and you're being rational right now. You're logical and you have this authority about you, but you have this ability also to take some wise advice and wisdom from someone else. I think that you're going to be with somebody who is an authority that has this ability to, ability to balance judgments and give excellent advice so take it this is about the truth being revealed here being able to accept the truth stand in your truth and integrity but also to be open to receive wonderful professional advice some of you if you're dealing with a legal issue could be hiring a lawyer uh, somebody here where you're going to want to get some wisdom and some advice from someone who's going to counsel you through a situation and I always say lucky are we when we receive this advice this motivation and this balance from this particular king now, coming in in your first row, which could be the beginning of the week, or the energy coming in from behind you or the past, you have the Four of Coins, the Four of Pentacles. So you could be budgeting right now, making wise business decisions or good decisions about your money. Be careful because it's also the card of extremes in which you spend your money and you save your money. So be careful if you are feeling like you want to spend emotionally because often we do that and it comes back to bite us later if there's a debt level attached to that. So be careful. Um, you could be holding on to something as well and that could be uh, time or possessions or issues, deep-seated issues, past issues. You could be, you know, holding on to people. This is also the card of hoarding and stinginess uh, and being controlled and possessive right now but it also can be the card of financial stability and financial security and saving for that big ticket item that big purchase that you want or even putting money away for your retirement so know that uh, right now I think you're going to be budgeting with that comes in the from the wisdom deck from the wisdom section of this oracle deck you've got time to celebrate the completion of a project experience positive moves forward advancement and success so chances are uh you you're going to be busy here but i do think you're budgeting i think you're taking care of business i think you're making wise decisions when it comes to money um and now you're going to be able to move forward whatever you've been maybe you're working on your income tax or something like that and now you've completed that and you're going oh now I, it's, it looks good, I'm going to have money coming back, or I'm not going to have to pay so much, and everything's taken care of, and now I can think about my moving forward successfully. Coming in next, you've got the Four of Wands. Well, the Four of Wands, they say on this card, thank you, but we know the Four of Wands, it's all about something, uh, being able to celebrate something really, really well here. So don't be afraid to do that, but you could be looking at your future with foresight and insight. You could be traveling, you could be going abroad or moving abroad to some foreign land, uh, but your plans are moving forward right now. And you need to stand there with your own self-confidence. Know that this is success and be happy with the choices and the outcome that you've, you've worked hard for. And that it's going to pay off. This is beautiful energy of being able to move forward now in a new direction. You've worked hard for that. Now, in the act, you've got the action card here. And it says, time to enjoy the results of your hard work, victory, and success. Yes. So here we go. Um, you're working hard towards your goal, Scorpio. So do what makes your heart sing. Do what brings you joy. Do what you need to do to celebrate this. Whether you choose to celebrate with somebody or yourself, get out there and blow your horn. Because you deserve this accolade of attention and rewards uh, and the reputation you're building right now. All because you're doing it yourself and working hard. The Queen of Cups comes in in the center position. And this, this could be the energy you're feeling right now or the middle of the week. And this is all about, you know, the choices that you're making here right now. Okay? She, you know, this is about... Uh, being able to dream big and go after what you want. She's very nurturing. She takes care of business. And she also takes care of other people. She has this ability to be of service and wants to take care of her family, her friends, and other people. Um, I think that, you know, this could be your mother or a mother substitute may play a significant role in the near future in your life. So there could be a woman around you who you're leaning into for support and for 
uh, for, um, you know, to confide in and, and uh, to be able to lean into. She has that ability to want to take care of people. But Scorpio, you are innately uh, attached to wanting to do healing modalities for people. And you want to heal and cure everybody out there. A lot of you are energy healers. So you could be the one that's taking on the energy of this queen. But what you need to be made aware of and to be cautioned of, that is taking care of your needs as well. So it's time for you to step back and nurture yourself. Uh, take some breathing space. If you need to take some time off uh, to relax, you need to do that. You need to recharge, rejuvenate, and possibly reflect on your next move going forward. It's okay to be there for other people, but you can't be there at all times for everyone at the same time. So now it's time for you to nurture yourself and be mindful of that. It's time to take action, start new projects, work on new ideas, nurture and care for yourself. Nurture and care for yourself. How appropriate. Yes, you've been doing so much for other people here, which is so beautiful, my beautiful Scorpios. But it's time now for you to say, hey, I need a time out. I need some breathing space. I need to nurture myself. Coming in next, you have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, fast moving action. Something's coming in here very suddenly. Um, you know, quick decisions and and uh, maybe um, you know something active here in that's coming in. Think it through. Okay, take action, but act with care. This is about maybe signing documents. Remember, I've always told you, once the ink hits the paper, it's a done deal. So be careful. Read between the lines don't rush in but there's something coming in that's almost like an emergency where you're going to have to act on it and take action but when you get there think on your feet listen to that little voice of that inner voice of wisdom that speaks to you okay um, you could be going through some negotiations as well um, there could be some challenges here right now you could feel as though you're having to compete with something or somebody at this time and those who love a challenge this is for you this is being passionate you may love this challenge of going forward but I want you to be uh, aware of anything that you sign be careful now this is the thought part of this of the deck time to move on be happy enjoy things they get better they get better 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 so much better so you're definitely moving in a new direction here it could be in a new relationship partnership business or love uh, you could be signing negotiations and you could be signing contracts which are going to be beneficial to you at this time it could be something simple as a mortgage or as a lease or or um, you know uh, something legal here Wow okay coming in with your last card here you have the seven of pencils which is known as the seven of swords so we always call this the the card of deception <clears throat> you know um, you have to change your ways here uh, moving forward uh, this is the card that says don't you know everything that glitters isn't gold be careful of the snake charmer or the as I say the wolf in sheep's clothing okay make a break for it if you're with in a situation where there's somebody who has been deceiving you I think you're going to catch on and, and, and know about it uh, this is about you know um, somebody who could be masquerading as a friend someone who's coming in here and they turn out to be an enemy they turn out to be somebody who you thought would be a close friend and they turn out that they're riding they want to ride on your coattails of success so be careful you're going to be more resourceful now and you're going to be able to escape this interconnection with somebody who is not bringing you to your greater good and and you know we're judged by the company we keep and misery loves company at the end of the day I always say this individual gets caught okay they step out and all of a sudden <clears throat> the spotlights on them and they get caught so I think you're pulling away from situations or somebody who has not been totally honest with you now you've got time to make positive new partnerships good decisions and know you're on track so I think you're <clears throat> you're realizing you've learned from your past experiences here of being taken advantage of someone here who deceived you someone here who betrayed you someone here who didn't have the integrity and the truth that they claim to have now you're saying I'm out of here um, you know I'm walking out of here and I'm going to start my own path I'm going on my own journey and I'm going to be better for it uh, this is beautiful so I do believe you know we've all been in those positions where we've been betrayed or taken you know the wool has been pulled over our eyes because we didn't want to see it and or have to deal with <clears throat> with opposing energy um, so I do think you're moving forward here things look good here for you my beautiful Scorpios you're definitely making making decisions here and and taking care of business for yourself 
Well, this is your reading for this week, Scorpio, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. As I tell you every week, and I truly do send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon.